Thank you for tuning in. This devotion is for June 30th. The scripture says, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Matthew 7, verse 17 to 20. No matter how high her profession, she whose heart is not imbued with the love for God and for her fellow women is not a disciple of Christ. Though she should possess great faith and even have power to work miracles, yet without love her faith would be worthless. She might display great liberality, but should she, from some other motive than genuine love, bestow all her goods to feed the poor, the act would not commend her to the favor of God. In her zeal, she might even meet a martyr's death. Yet, if the destitute of the gold of love, sorry, yet if destitute of the gold of love, she would be regarded by God as a deluded enthusiast or an ambitious hypocrite. There is an eloquence far more powerful than the eloquence of words in the quiet, consistent life of a pure, true Christian. What a woman is has more influence than what she says. It is our own character and experience that determine our influence upon others. In order to convince others of the power of Christ's grace, we must know its power in our own hearts and lives. The gospel we present for the saving of souls must be the gospel by which our own souls are saved. Only through a living faith in Christ as a personal Savior is it possible to make our influence felt in a skeptical world. If we would draw sinners out of the swift running current, our own feet must be firmly set upon the rock, Christ Jesus. The badge of Christianity is not an outward sign, not the wearing of a cross or a crown, but it is that which reveals the union of women with God. Let us pray. O righteous and compassionate Father, Wow. Thank you so much for these words. Thank you for life in this new day. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for all that you provide for us. Thank you so much for these encouraging words. And I say they're encouraging because it's instructions, valuable, life-saving, eternal life-saving instructions. And so we thank you. Thank you so much for the wonderful example of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for your Holy Spirit Thank you so much for letting us know that when we choose, you will open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. Yes, we will go through trials and tribulations, but when we are standing with you, during those trials and tribulations, we will know that your presence is there and we will be able to withstand and endure. We will be able to have joy and peace in the midst of the crisis, in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the tribulation. So whether there's issues at home, in our community, at the church, at work, at school, or even issues that we may have with ourselves, 
because we don't like the way we look or sound or whatever. In spite of all of that, your love radiates. And within your word, there is so much comfort and so much direction that we will be able, able to overcome any obstacle, overcome any trial, tribulation, crisis. Help us to hold on to you firmly. We know that you will never let us go. So help us not to let you go. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on Christ. Help us to be about your business. As Christ was here, he ministered to those that he met. He shared who you was and your love for everyone. And he encouraged for everyone to exemplify. Build a relationship so that we would truly be his followers, his disciples, so that we do the work that he did. As he glorified you, help us to glorify him. Since we have taken on the name of Christ by our Christian titles, help self to die within each and every one of us, please. Forgive us of our sins. Help us to indeed bear fruit. Help us to be great witnesses. Help that our lives will be living sermons. Thank you so much. Your will be done in our lives. Guide us and bless us and keep us. Be with your children. Be with our families and our loved ones. Be with those who are mourning. Thank you so much for all that you do. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.